don't know what to say after that, my gosh. There's a reason that you are the esteemed head of this organization. You are so compelling and amazing with the way you describe the organization and how incredibly kind you are that uh, you even put gravitas to those descriptions of me, which is not easy. <laughs> Thank you. And I want to give a huge shout out to my table mate over there, the amazing Brooke Shields, for supporting us. She's not exactly uh, unbusy. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say, you are a major star, but with gravitas, and there are few of them. And I'm incredibly proud of Teaching Matters and all it does to transform the lives of so many students, as well as the teachers and principals, some of whom are here. And this, of course, is in New York City, and I'm sure that one day, before long, we'll be expanding. When my mother, Elizabeth Rowerton, founded Teaching Matters over 20 years ago, with the support of my wonderful stepfather, Felix Rowerton, I witnessed a great deal of passion and spewing from her <laughs> about the organization. But until I came on to the, into the organization myself roughly two years ago, I had no real idea of the serious impact that Teaching Matter has, nor the efficacy of their programs, and nor did I envision how incredibly commitment, what sort of commitment and passion it would ignite in me. That was a surprise and a really wonderful one. I'm very proud to be involved. And Olga, I want to thank you for being the extraordinary, truly irreplaceable leader that you are. My mother, as we know, was no fool. And there's a reason you are here, and I know how proud she was and continues to be, wherever she is, of you. <laughs> And Lynette Guastafero, who is right around here, <laughs> you have grown and excelled in your role as executive director. And it's been a wonderful learning process for me to work with you and your team, um, Jacqueline Durante and Liz Moran. And you have really excelled, I think, since I first met you years ago. And I know that my mother would be incredibly proud of you if she saw you today and what you're doing. I was born in New York and grew up here, and as such, I know that this is a very tough town and people don't show up. Have you ever heard that? But I'm looking out today, and I am absolutely um, touched to the end of it that you've all shown up and that you've supported me, that I called you and expected everybody said, no, I'm busy. But you're here, and I can't tell you what that means to me and what it means to Teaching Matters. And I want to also salute and thank the amazing event co-chairs, Olga, Dana Creel, and Francis Schultz, who unfortunately can't be here, um, and along with all of you who have served on the committee and supported this endeavor so generously. And I think you can see it's a huge success today. So I'm very proud of all of you, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> my daughter's in the room. And she's going to be mortified, Mom. But I want to thank you. And also her junior co-chair. Uh, we formed a new committee of juniors because I'm an old bag. We need some new wood in here. So, <laughs> Lily, thank you. I really admire your dedication and commitment. And I look forward to working with you and Lizzie in the future. Obviously, the day cannot go by without thanking my husband, Leo, for being here and supporting me as well. In closing, my mother passed away a year ago, almost to the day. And in many ways, this is obviously a very poignant salute to her, our founder, who had vision, tenacity, clear objectives, and the grit of a four-star general, I'm here to tell you. And I have no doubt that she's looking down at us today and being quite clear that I should have worn a dress and why didn't we have more men in the room? Um, <laughs> she was never unclear. And sadly, she was normally right. But at the end of the day, I know she's beaming with pride at her baby, Teaching Matters, and that it's going forward in a superb way, led by the best team and endorsed by a community of New York's finest citizens. She set the highest bar, and it's being met. Thank you all. I'm very honored. Thank you.